I am driving a 2017 Honda Pilot with Honda Sensing and I've had this car for two years and I love it. But I wanted to compare some of these semi-autonomous features to really the gold standard in the automotive industry. And that gold standard is a Tesla. This is a Tesla Model X 75D, a 2018 model. Now, of course, the Tesla can do a whole bunch more features than the Honda Sensing, but we're just going to limit the Tesla to doing the things that Honda Sensing can do, which is adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist. Now, the Tesla actually has two modes for this sort of thing. Um, there is the just the adaptive cruise control mode, which just does adaptive cruise control, and then there's the full autopilot mode, which does quite a bit more. So let's first of all start off with adaptive cruise control. To do that, I just tug this little stalk here forward once, and I can only do it when the car is moving or when there's a vehicle directly in front of me. Okay, so I've put it on, and it's set to uh, right now 45. The speed limit's 35, so I'm just going to nudge it down. You nudge it down in five mile per hour increments or you can go up and down just by moving it halfway up to 36 37 and so forth and the car now is going to maintain its position um, with cars in front and um, that's it it's not going to keep you in the lane or anything like that so it's just purely adaptive cruise control so we're going to get it put to the test right here because we're coming up to a car in front and it's seen that car really really early on there and it's gonna to come to a full stop. When that car starts to move forward, then we can move forward as well. So you turn adaptive cruise control on by pressing the set button, and then just press the up and down arrows to get the speed that you want. Uh, the thing is though, in the Honda, the adaptive cruise control, at least in this model, doesn't actually work until you get above 45 miles per hour. If I end up going slower than that speed for whatever reason, um, the thing is just going to turn itself off. So a road like this, even though it's not a highway, um, actually you can really set adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist and it works pretty well. But now I'm coming up to some vehicles ahead of me and unlike the Tesla, which would now start slowing down, um, this car just turns the system off. It, it doesn't know to stop here. Two tugs on the stalk gets me the autopilot, so now I have the equivalent of lane keep assist as well. So two tugs, that's hands free. So coming up to some slower moving traffic here, I'm currently set to 67 um, and now the vehicle is starting to slow down, very smoothly done, just to keep us within uh, the gap that I have specified here, which was uh, two car lengths or three car lengths. Seems that you can keep your hands off the wheel a lot longer than on the Honda. Uh, you can sometimes go like a full minute or so without touching the wheel and getting that reminder that you need to be making contact. And it does such a good job of staying in the lane. Um, I guess stuff can confuse it, but if the lanes are well marked or even partially marked, it's really impressive. So what's the verdict on these two cars? Well, clearly the Tesla just has more sensors and can see the world around it better. It can see things from further away, uh, from, from different angles and so forth. So it just has a better view of the world than the Honda does. And that means that it can do things a little bit smoother. It can see cars further ahead. It can operate at lower speeds. Uh, it can be much more smooth in keeping you in the lane. So I am absolutely blown away with how well the Tesla is able to drive in autopilot both in terms of the adaptive cruise control and the lane keeping. That said, I really, really like how the Honda operates with its lane keep assist and its adaptive cruise control on the highway. This thing is pretty damn reliable. I take this on a 250 mile round trip pretty much every weekend, almost exclusively on the highway, and I turn on the adaptive cruise control and the lane keep assist and I will have to probably touch the pedals maybe once or twice in that whole journey, if at all. Um, it doesn't always see every single part of the road, but it does do a pretty decent job. And when it does lose track, it's just a case of taking control. So the Honda Sensing package, it's good, it's usable. I've lived with it for two years and I really, really like it. 
the Tesla Autopilot. Uh, it's pretty cool though. Thinks that thing in front of is a motorbike. It's a boat.